Okay, here is a really cool problem. This comes from Reddit user Pinky Anon. And this, I believe, is in the homework help subreddit. So they ask, so this apparently comes from some math competition. I'm not, I'm not familiar with the water, Waterloo Kaylee math contest. Uh, I'm familiar with Kaylee, but I didn't know there was a contest in his name. And it's, it's really no wonder that you have a hard time approaching this. This is actually like a pretty tough problem. Normally, I wouldn't even attempt this um, because it's like a combinatorics probability type of a problem, and I'm not very good at those. But man, I noticed something early on in this, and I, I just felt like that was a coup. And so I got excited about the problem, and I kept going. Uh, the thing that I noticed, every one of these numbers in this set has a factor of 11. And every one of the numbers in this set has a factor of 101. So if you factor those out, the num what's left here is just this set. Okay, So on this screen, I've done that for you. Now, you'll see that once you factor those out, you have the same set. Okay, that's important. So let's... The, the numbers in this set are R, and the numbers in this set are S, and the numbers in this set are T. Okay, so the member will be the little number. So we need to figure out how many distinct values there are for this product. Okay, so the, the, the product here is always going to have 1 times 11 times 101, no matter what. It has to have that. Okay, each one of those sets had, had factors. Or so this had a factor of 101, every element had a factor of 101. Every element had a factor of 11. Every element had a factor of 1. So we can just ignore those. We don't even need to think of them. They're gone. They're not considerations for our problem. We're not asking what are the numbers. We're asking how many distinct values there are. So that means what we have left is we're going to pick three numbers, but it's essentially three numbers from the same set, right? We just can replace that number and then draw it again. Okay, so we can think of this as um, a with replacement type of a like combinatorics problem. The other thing to note is that multiplication is commutative. So suppose we 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 get R S T. This is equal to S T R, which is equal to T S R, which is equal to T R S, which is equal to R T S. Right. So we need to do this where. Replace, uh, where order does not matter, okay? These, none of these produces a distinct thing. So we have an unordered with replacement problem. Okay, when you do that, this is your calculation. You're gonna do, uh, so suppose this set has n elements and we wanna draw k elements from that set. You get n plus k minus 1 um, and then n. Okay, this is equal to n plus k minus 1 factorial over uh, k factorial and then it's n plus k minus 1 minus k which is n minus 1 factorial. All right. Now, let's do substitution. So n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 elements in each set. So 8 plus 3 minus 1 factorial over 3 factorial times 8 minus 1 factorial. This is equal to 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 7 factorial. If you're not familiar with factorials, um, just let me know. Like, I can do a whole other video on it. This is not my specialty, but I, I think I can bring you up to speed on what a factorial is. Otherwise, you know, check out Purple Math, or you know, I don't know who would have a video on this. Anyway, we're getting away with ourselves. Let me simplify this. So, uh, 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial is 10 times 8 times 9, and then we can put 3 times 2 times 1. This 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 part is the um, 3 factorial. Okay, that's 3 factorial. So we don't need to worry about the 1, but there is a factor of 2 here, and there's a factor of 3 here. So this becomes 30 times 4, which is 
120. So there are 120 distinct values that you can get by drawing three numbers um, from each set. And that is really cool. That's a really cool problem. Um, it's funny, at my only encounter with combinatorics in college was in probability, or I didn't even take probability, I took math stats, and there's a little bit of probability at the first part of that class, at least at my school. Um, but in the algebra club, we had this professor who was, you know, working on some research, and he was kind of uh, testing his manuscript on us. Um, and that was an interesting problem because it involved uh, combinatorial explosion. And so, you know, I encountered a little bit of this, and it is fascinating. It really is. So counting things is really cool. And hopefully this helped. I, I don't know if my explanation was sufficient. If you enjoyed it, if it got you there, uh, please subscribe. That, that's a big deal. It means a lot to me. Uh, like, comment, give me feedback in any way you can. And if you like the channel, if you want to uh, get your answer, questions answered directly, go to my subreddit. It's in my post history. I just made it like three days ago. And post your questions there. I'll make you a video. Um, and if you have classmates, share this with your classmates, right? They, they would probably benefit from it as well. Or you can, you know, go give them the explanation yourself. They'll probably think that's really cool. All right.